I'm just having a nice cup of tea here and uh, gonna do a haul. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm just having a nice cup of tea here and uh, gonna do a haul. Hmm. Try not to knock it over. Let me push that down a bit. All right, so we got a box full of goodies here sitting beside me. The sun's just going down, so I put the overhead light on. So a little backstory about how I discovered this store. So I was on the hunt for something at Dollarama. Like I already have them. They're little silver bags with a clear front and I need more. So we went to two Dollaramas in Winnipeg that I knew of and they didn't have them. So I'm Googling to see, there was another one, but I didn't want to drive up that way, but I was Googling on the way home and there was another one that popped up. Um, we usually turn at that intersection before where this little plaza was. So Sean drove around and I found a Mission Thrift Store. I was super happy about that. So we did go into the Dollarama. I didn't find my little bags. I did find some other things on my wish list, but I'm still on the hunt for those little silver bags. I wish I had grabbed a lot of them. I guess they were popular. But anyways, um, so this is the Mission Thrift Store. And uh, they gave me this little loyalty card. And I believe there's, um, I'm going to say 10... 10 you get 10 stamps so a stamp for every ten dollars that you spend and when you have 10 stamps you can have ten dollars off your next purchase right so i thought well that's nice uh so this is what we bought i'm gonna start off like it's all in a big box here i'm gonna start off with the shillelagh that we found so this is an irish shillelagh it is made with blackthorn i have a collection so this is number five to my collection and uh, it was two dollars so got something to hit sean with <laughs> so got the shillelagh uh i was super excited to find this this is uh they even wrote wrote inside what it was but i knew what it was it's in the pond uh so that's uh japan made in japan and this was made between 1891 and 1921 so a really old piece it's a hand uh, painted oh they put hand painted bowl okay so they didn't know what it was i paid eight dollars for it but what it is you see all the holes in it so there's holes there it is a berry uh dish so you would wash your berries throw them in here and uh, it would sit on a plate. I'm not sure if it had a matching plate or you know, they came separate and you just sat it on a plate, but I love it. So it is marked Nippon on the back. It's got cute little feet, all hand painted. How beautiful is that? There you can see the holes. So I was really happy about that. I'm gonna sit that behind me so I don't break it. Um, I do have a, shot glass collection i kind of collect them from everywhere we go and sometimes i didn't pick one up because they were either you know six to eight dollars and to me that's too much money so i i picked the the first one i picked up was blackpool england and their shot glasses were 25 cents so that one let's put the glass behind me they wrapped them up in tissue here for me Oh, these two are together. Now, this is somewhere we've been a lot, Wisconsin. So uh, there it is. This one is adorable, a little barn and the cows. And it was 25 cents. Drive through Wisconsin quite a lot. Now this one was Ottawa, Canada. I just thought it was cool with the deer on it. So I did grab that 25 cents. Add to my collection, here's another one. Oh, I got this one because uh, it's Corby, but it's um, got all the measurements. So it goes up to a three ouncer. Now my biggest shot glass is from the keg and it's a two ouncer. So now I have a three ouncer. That's what it looks like. This one I did pay a dollar for. It's fun to have these. 
sitting out. So that was that one. I think that was it for the shot glasses. Let's see. Now I did buy this. I just don't want anything else to fall. They kind of threw stuff all over the place. This one was Trafalgar Square in London, England, which I have also been to. It was 25 cents. I actually have a lot. I've got London, England, and so now I've got the Blackpool and uh, Trafalgar Square. You go there and that's where you see all the pigeons running all around the place. I'd love to go over there again. I bought this blanket. It is beautiful. I bought it for RJ because he chewed his um, bed, threw it out. I gave him two baby blankets. He's chewed one of them. So I'm not buying him another bed. So I figure I'm going to wash this and try him out with this. If he bites through this, he's not getting any more until he smartens up. That's the house, that's the house rules. It's really nice and soft though. I think it's for a, uh, I'd say for a, a single bed, it's quite wide. So I did pay $15 for it. So on the, it's kind of uh, satiny on the inside. So we're gonna get that washed up for him. And in his cage, I'm almost looking at it going, maybe it's too nice to give to him. It would go nice over one of my chairs. So I will decide if he's deserving of it or not. Because <laughs> when I said to Sean, I'm not buying him anymore. And then I caved in and bought that. He goes, I thought you said you weren't buying anymore. So that was, I think, the most expensive thing we got. Uh, Sean saw this and wanted it. It was uh, from President's Choice. It does say, uh, tested by Ray. Needs batteries? No. And we paid $8 for it. And uh, it is, I'll try to open it up here. It is an electric knife. And I love that it's red too, because it's going to match my new, uh, my new mixer. So it, it doesn't look like it's been used much. So you get the fork, you get, there's the blades, the knife. I mean, we have an electric knife, but this is one's really nice. And, uh, I'm not sure what that's for, but it's probably to hold the meat down or something. I don't know. But yeah, this is a, isn't it a nice electric knife. What was, he? oh, there's two sets of blades. So there you have it. So for $8, I think that was a good deal. Get that one back in there so I can close it up. Yeah, it doesn't look um, like it was used much. I will get Sean to test that out, make sure it works. Now they had some old antique pieces sitting out. They had a beautiful antique ironing board. Caroline doesn't iron, so I wouldn't use it. It would have been nice sitting um, in the laundry room. So we got it all up and set up, but something wasn't right in it. So it wasn't folding up and down properly. And it was also $20. If it had been even $10, I probably would have grabbed it. But where that was, they had a whole bunch of old um, old antique things. They had a, uh, you know, the old whisk. But they wanted $12 for that. I didn't want to pay $12 for that. But I did see this, and I did pay up for this. Um, well, I didn't pay up for it. It's only $5. But this is an apple core. So you'd stick your apple there and... And it spins really nice. Now I have quite a few antique pieces like this sitting in the kitchen. So that's where this is going to go. It's just going to sit in the kitchen. But yeah, I'm okay paying $5. But not, uh, not like 20 So that. And you know me with my crystal. I can't walk past it and leave it. This is so heavy. This is a vase, but it's it's a round vase. You know what? I could even just put candy in it because my hand fits in here. Sean's won't, so I'll put my favorite ones in here. Don't tell him. Shh. So yeah, this was $10. <laughs> it's got the pinwheel crystal. And you know what's crystal when you go. Hear it? Yeah. So I got another crystal dish. So that. Nah, they just wrapped it all in like oversized uh, napkins. Alrighty, so that was it for that type of stuff. Um, we saw some old books. This one, this is really old. There was no date inside it. It was given to someone December 25th, 
95. It's a, it looks really old to me. It's name the it says Barry on it and it was 50 cents. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that I like the older books. I collect those too. Um so yeah, I don't you can just tell by the paper. Oh, that paper's coming out, but you can just tell by the paper. It's it's quite old. So we got that one for 50 cents. This one here is an Irish saint, the life story of, and I can't see it with the light tin here. Oh, I need my magnifying glass. Can you bring me my magnifying glass, please? It's by Helen E. Bingham. And I believe that's her right there. Sean's grabbing the magnifying glass. So this says uh, incorporated 1912. So I don't know if that's when this book was made, 1912. Oh, okay, I can read it inside here. I couldn't read it on the outside. Thank you. Pretty sad when you need glasses and one of these. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. <laughs> so uh, the, the life story of Anne Preston, known also as Ho Holy Anne. So that's what this story is about. And again, this one was a dollar. Most of their books were 50 cents on less marked. Now this one I saw, this is a very old book. So it is, uh, I don't know how you would say that. Is it Quishy? Q-U-E-E-C-H-Y. And it's written by E. Weather, Weatherall. Is that Weather? I think Weatherall. Yeah, Weatherall. Um, Elizabeth Weatherall. So I looked this book up because there is no um, markings inside it. I got to tighten my glasses to keep sliding down my nose here like an old granny. Anyways. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I looked this book up. This was published in 1878. Can you believe that? 1878. So I was telling, uh, it was an older couple checking me out, a man and a woman. And I said to them, oh, I said, this is an oldie, 1878. And one of the younger girls come running up. She says, oh, let me see. Because she has been buying the older books that come into the store. So she missed this one. Yeah. So I don't know if I'll read it or I might start reading it, see what it's like. The print is super small in it though. I'll be like sitting here with my magnifying glass and trying to read it, but <laughs> that's an oldie. This one will be staying in my house. So look at that, just to, even as a display. I've got these three old books and they're all green. Love it. All right, did I say how much that big one was? Two dollars, yeah. Two dollars. Well worth it. Uh, this is another oldie, West of uh, Picos. Zane Gray. I didn't pick this one. Sean did. Published in New York, but it doesn't have a date. Yeah, published in New York. Now the print in this is a lot bigger and easier to read. Copyright 1931 and 1937. Printed in the USA. Oh yeah, the print in this one's a lot bigger. So that is that book. That's the back. There's no price. Oh, there it is, $2. They stuck it on the inside. This cover has been chewed up a little. So $2 for that one. That was one that he picked out. And uh, this one we both saw and we said, yeah, we'll get that. Know your antique. So it's the best-selling guide to evaluating, buying, and caring for any antique by America's foremost experts in the field. Now, the reason why I got it, because it is an older book, so we're not going to get value-wise from it, but we are going to get patterns. We're going to be able to distinguish um, patterns on things that we buy, because we were flipping through it. There's grandfather clocks and everything in this. It's, it's in, This interests us. Oh, that's all the silver. I'm just trying to see if I can find. Like, look at this. The spoons were all different designs as the years went on. And what else did I see in here? So I'm excited to go through this book. 
now that I want to show it to you, I won't be able to find it. The different furniture and the different feet that were on them. Oh, I went too far. I know there was one in here with different markings and stuff. It's just going to be a quick little, um, quick little, uh, you know, guide for us. There's some markings. Different glass. Now I'm into the glass. Uh. Yeah, there's more markings. So yeah, when we saw this, we thought, yeah, let's grab that. It was $4, but we do love our antiques. So that was $4. And he got this one because he loves um, oil lamps. We have quite a collection of them too. And so this book is all about the little night lights. Now, it's funny because these little ones, um, the little minis are becoming um, just as, as popular as the big ones. They are getting pricey. So I had a nice bubble bath last night and I had one of our little red ones going, little oil lamp. So yeah, just this book shows you different ones and it just gives us a little bit of history on them, which is nice. Just seeing if I could see one like ours. Yeah, so the one I had last night, the red one, something similar to that. So yeah, that book was $3. Book on lamps. I'm gonna need more bookshelves because that bookshelf there that's behind you is, is full. <clears throat> oh, I didn't see Sean grab this one. 143 illustrations in color and black and white of glass. So this was our last book. You know, I guess, uh, people pass away and the kids don't want all this and it ends up at a thrift store, right? Yeah. This one's German glass, Venice. What else do I see? Mm, there's not a lot, not a lot in this book. So this book was $2. Yeah. So that is it. That is the end of the, um, Demission Thrift Store. And like I said, so the most expensive thing was the blanket for 15 and then the crystal for 10 So there's $25 off the bill right there. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you all on my next video. Bye for now. I'm going to uh, tighten the screw on my glasses now.